welcome back to fly chick tv so let me just get over here real quick so my mom is actually on her way out of the house and i'm about to like basically just run into her and be like i need you to do something for me before you leave and i'm gonna put her on the hot seat i got questions ready and i'm gonna grill her like she be grilling me so let's just follow me so I'm finna knock on her door. She's finna leave right now. <laughs> of course, she's on the phone. I need you to come and do something for me. What? I'm about to film a video. And I need you to be in it. So just have a seat. But you look good. I have a seat where? Downstairs. Oh gosh. Okay. Come on. Yeah. What is it? I don't gotta tell you, just come sit down. We'll see y'all in about five minutes. Hey guys, welcome back to Fly Chick TV. Hope you guys are doing well. Today is a beautiful day. I done caught my mom off guard and I'm putting her on the hot seat. <laughs> and she has no idea. So the name of this game. I have questions in the bowl. She will not be the one to read them. I will, but she's gonna pick the question. So I'm not touching the bowl. She's gonna pick the question and I'm gonna read it to her. She can either read the question, but you gotta answer the question. So you guys, welcome to Fly Chick TV. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, and all that good stuff. So we about to get into this video. And before we get into it, I'm gonna ask her, are you ready? I don't know what question is there. Let me see. Okay, well, we just, we're just gonna get right into it. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. That's the question. Shaking up these questions, all right? You can go ahead and just pick. What are this question? You're just gonna find out when I read it. So go ahead and pick. That was too close. Put that on back. You grab the one closest to the fin. Now grab one. I didn't look. I just picked. Okay. All right. Ooh, I, I was waiting for this one to come. <laughs> this is, I literally, in my head, I said, I want this question to come first because it's juicy. So the question is, what are your thoughts on sex before marriage? What? That's the question. What are your thoughts? On sex before marriage. I am marriage. not ready for this type of question. You can't skip it. You only get one skip out of all these questions. No, you know. I'm not getting one. I... What's your answer? What are your thoughts? Do you feel like it's okay to have sex what? before what? marriage? Do you feel like being married first and having sex is good? Or would you advise people to take their time and actually get to know a person before okay, that comes? Now. You know that. You... What are your thoughts about sex before marriage? I want to get a, a grown woman's perspective. So you can think about it and let me know your question. But you still got to answer it before I give you another question. <laughs> Told you this wasn't going to be easy. Sex before marriage. Uh. Who am I to judge anybody? Anyway, so my opinion, okay? I'm just gonna give my opinion. This is hard. I, I, I heard it all opinion, the time so. and people are saying everybody have their own. But personally, I think you should get to know the person well and take your time to know before you give it up or you know before you have sex with that person that you think you're getting married i think first with the relationship you have to get to know each other where you think you marry this person and they have to know you better then 
that comes to play, you know, it comes naturally though, you know, it's not like, oh, I'm going to test it and see, you know, and all that. But once you are into the person and they are into you, it comes naturally it to me. Happens. That is my opinion of it because I know people that met the same day, have sex the same day, and got married and still married up to today. So who to say they're not good because they had sex that very same day. Right. So to your question, I think if the person is your soulmate, it doesn't matter if you had it before or after. Mm -hmm. They're gonna stay regardless of how it happened or how you met or how you did it. So that's what I'm saying, it's, it's everybody's opinion is different. And some people are just don't want to do anything till that day. That is their choice. And everybody have choices. So I think it's how you present yourself to your partner, your partner present themselves to you. And if you guys you. are, yes, if you guys are engaging well and vibing well and you, you are all into each other, it comes naturally. Like I said, it comes naturally. It's not something you plan and put a date on today. I'm just going to meet somebody and we're going to do it before marriage. And then there's one thing too. Relationship and marriage and all that is understanding. That is what a lot of relationships are missing. Understanding one another. If you understand me and I understand you and we are all into the same basket, it makes things so easier. It makes things just it's comfortable it makes it relaxing it makes it soothing because there's no argument point of it it just right. it just good okay so that is my opinion is how you vibe in and how you, you how you feeling about the person it just comes to easy it's not it's not like sex easy I'm not saying like you're, you're easy to be taken but it will come naturally to you you will know it. yeah when you have we got the point mom okay we gonna oh. go to the next question because she actually did really well okay go ahead and pick another question it ain't gonna be a sex question though i'm sure it's not <laughs> she's scared now <laughs> oh i'm giving you some thirst <laughs> how long did it take you to get over heartbreak any advice for the young ladies you can keep them brief you ain't gotta go into detail Oh yeah, heartbreak is. No, the question long? was how long. How long? Yeah, heartbreak. Did it take you to get over heartbreak yourself, and how then what advice do you have many? for ladies? Yeah. Everybody is different. Some people just get up and shake it off and just keep moving. <laughs> do you want to share? A story? Okay, so um, me personally, it's a whole lot depending on how me and the person was. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, some people, you're glad they leave your ass. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, my language. Yeah. And then some people, you did not expect it, and it just happened. Mm -hmm. And you know, then that's kind of heartbreaking, and so, you know, you kind of take the pieces a day at a time, and then you move on slowly. Right. So, I think everybody's different. There's no time limit to it that, um, you say, oh, I'm going to take three months to heal myself. No. It, it, it doesn't, it, there, there's no time limit until you're going to feel that you're, you, you're done and it's okay and you're moving on and you're not into yourself where you're thinking about the person every two minutes, every two seconds. Mm -hmm. But if you're really done and you let it go, you might not forget about them though, but you can love them from a distance and you're okay moving on. You can talk to somebody and you're ready to move that on. That brings us to this. Then oh. you're okay. That means you are healed. Right. And that could take a month, three months, one year, two years. Like I said, depending on how you and the person, how close you guys were. So how do you feel about moving on quickly? Do you feel like I think it's okay to move on within a month? Yeah, if somebody or move on, weeks, somebody yeah. move in a, if you move on quick, I'll answer this. Sometimes people say, oh, if you don't heal well, then it's going to be the same thing. I don't, I don't believe that. Why I don't believe that is that sometimes, you know, people already move on emotionally mm -hmm. and the head mentally 
but it's, it's not out, okay? That is when, when you see people moving on quick, you know, somebody can get out of a relationship like a month or a year, they have somebody and they're like, oh, that was so quick, or divorce, and they are, they're mentally yeah. out, yeah. okay? They're done, so overdone that next, right? okay? Mm -hmm. There's no point of sitting around thinking about this person that's gone. If they're right. gone, they're gone. So next. what are you gonna do? You just gotta move on. Okay, next question. She get mad now because this question is getting too deep. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, if you could ask your younger self a question, what would it be and why? My younger self question is why I didn't um, why I didn't further my education. Okay. Why um, did I get married so early age? These are my two challenge in my life where I think um, any, you know, youth that coming out, you know, you guys take your time. Take your time. And why I'm asking this question because you start so early that you have skipped all your 20s, you know, your, 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 teen, your, your, your teens into your 20s to your 30s, you kind of... You are married, you know. Yeah. Everything is married, yeah, right, married, 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 and you don't have time to really explore to know so much about life. Mm -hmm. You think you know it all. Most of the time, our kids do the same. You know, when you're telling them something, I've been there too. They like, Ma, I know, I got it. No, they don't get nothing. They don't know nothing. They don't know jack. They have to learn. Right. And um, when you t I, I know now when my mom was telling me when I was getting married at the young age. I get it now. So you have to you you have to take your time right. um, to get married. Not like to get old, right? But when there's a certain age when you get to you know what you want, right? And you know what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Yes. From when you're young, like you're in your twenties, eighteen, then you don't know what you really want. But to you, oh yeah, this is what I'm doing right now, and you think you're okay, and it's not. So I think you need to take your time, not getting old, but take your time, get to know yourself, give yourself some self-love, mm -hmm. and then before you give, because you can't give something you don't have to right. somebody. So you have to love yourself first so you can give it out. So I think okay. wait, take your time and look. So those are the questions. Why didn't you further education? and? Yeah, Why um, did you because I, I married so early and I just like, um, my dad stopped taking care of me, my mom stopped taking care of me, I couldn't go to school and then when I I got married that early, um, the man was uneducated so he don't really know to put you to school, I mean I was pushing go to school, go to school, then I have a child and, and you know there's no excuse for this, you right. know, the people that have five, ten kids and they still move on to go to school. Right. And in my situation, I just, you know, sometimes you be like, oh, forget about it, it's too late, and yeah. then you're shy, you think you're too old to go to school. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, so let's um, learn a lesson so I tell my kids, you know, go to school. Very important. As y'all know, education to school. It's two very important. Other, two other degrees. So, all right, next question. I hope this one is funny. Here you go. <laughs> Okay, this is a fun question. What is something on your bucket list? Something or a place that you want to visit? You can name like two places that you want to visit or something you actually want to do that you've never done before. Yeah, I want to go to Paris so bad. Okay. Travel to Paris and have some fun. Something that you want to do? Yeah, that's, that's something I, I dream of doing. I want to go to Paris one day and I'm heading there, I will. Okay. And, um, Something that I really, really, really wanted growing up as a kid, I wanted a wedding so bad, I don't know. I want a wedding, like every time I see a wedding, it's a beautiful thing, not everybody wants it. But I didn't have one, so it was this, these are some type of dream things, man. 
but like right now if you ask me that was when I was growing up these are the things that I really wanted to do as I grow up I want to travel and I want to go to Paris but my main thing is to own my own big old business you know like something that is fantastic that will give you a lot of income you know you are your own boss your own CEO you know the kind of living that give you peace of mind and comfortability you know so that is something too that I really want to get to these questions are real deep. She giving real wisdom on them. Y'all better take this wisdom now. Because I get it every day. And I be looking at her like, are you done? <laughs> so y'all better take heed to this woman. Because she got gems for days. All right, let me see. What's the next question? She ain't going to read it because she just don't want to. Oh, okay. This is a really interesting question. Because I've been meaning to ask you this myself. So It says, how was your love back in the day? How was love for you back in the day? Do you think you would want to be my age, me right here, my age, and experience love in 2023? Or would you stick to your generation of love? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to go there. Pass. Please. This is a really good question, pass. but she said pass, and I told her she can get a pass. So Please. Again, pass. I'll read the question again. <laughs> How was love back in your day? And do you think you would want to, to be my age at the age of 29 and experience love in 2023? Or would you stick to what you, the love that you got back in the day? And do you feel like it's different? But she wanted to pass this question. But I'm going to hold on to this and stick it right here. Because we're going to get back to it. Okay. <laughs> she said, I'm skipping that. Okay. I don't want to talk about that. That's a lot of questions. Why is a cop of questions? Girl, I... Ooh, you might want... You can't even skip this one. So I will. Me. What is your most embarrassing dating experience? Pass. Not even a little bit. Not <laughs> even too much. <laughs> okay, we just want to keep... She just, now she passing the real things. Oh, my goodness. This is your last pass, though. Everything else you're going to have to answer. No. All right, if you, okay, so we're going to make a deal. She don't answer how many questions. You only answer one, two. You only answer four questions, and then they answer two. You got one. So if you don't answer three more questions, you have to give me $100. Mm -hmm. I do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a good question. I think you can answer this because this ain't even really a question. It says, what age did you realize you were going to be a mom? And how did you break the news? Or did you keep it to yourself until you were like fully in term? It could be me, like all of us, like your kids combined. Mm -hmm. Well. And when you found out, what was your thought process? Were you scared? Were you nervous? Did you? No. Okay. Um, as for me, I have four kids, and all my four kids have been married. I have not had my kids out of what love or anything like that. All my kids have been married, so um, there was no like, oh, I'm scared to say it. I just noticed I'm pregnant and I'm pregnant. I don't say anything. So you just showed up with not my belly and said I'm pregnant, or you just... When you got further along is when you said it. That's what I'm asking you. No, I just said I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. What was the reaction? Was it exciting? Was it just like... Pretty? <laughs> <laughs> she said, don't even go there. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, let's see. I don't even know what the timer says. Okay, this is an easy question. She got a good one. What was your worst job you ever had that you would never ever <laughs> let anybody try to do? My worst? Your worst job, yeah. We had to take a quick little intermission. I hope you enjoyed the, the ad on the video. You know, we're back. So. You got, you actually did well. I'm not gonna lie. You have one, two, three, four, about five. But we gonna cut it down to four because I feel like she's, 
she's caving in y'all she's caving in but don't forget to like comment subscribe and how you feeling so far with all these questions <laughs> <laughs> unexpected but i i i don't know if they're gonna like my answers Hey, but you, it's you're right. speaking on what you want to speak on, so whether they like it's it or okay. not, you said what you said, and it is what it is, okay? It's Period. okay. Period. Period, boo. All right, let's go. Let me not get ratchet on camera. <laughs> she hoping this one not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good question. This is actually a question I was wanting her to answer. Oh, God. A lot. Go ahead. You my you my whole book of life. Okay. Besides the Bible, she's my book of life. So, <laughs> all right. Do you believe in second chances, whether it be friendship or relationship? So let me give an example. Say your friend or family member or the love of your life does something, and you y'all break up, or you and your friend stop talking. Do you feel like you can give a friend a second chance, whether the situation is bad or not? What's your take on it? Do you feel like, do you just believe in sex, like giving somebody another chance to do right by you? Yes or no. Okay. Yes or no, uh, depending on what the situation, like you said, it doesn't matter what the situation. Sometimes <clears throat> there are situations where you just forgive yourself and the person and it's so easy to move on. Because sometimes, you know, if it if it's lady stuff, you know, ladies we are petty, we pick every little thing and we just speak on and you know, me personally I don't like argument. I don't like to argue. Mm -hmm. I don't like to I don't like too much drama. Drama. I'm not the drama person. I'm the drama. I'm a drama. Woman. I'm always I I'm a peace person. Okay. So me I like to speak on things right and then like, you know, not hold back. Not hold back. Let's we'll say it right there. I right. have done that, mm -hmm. and it has cost me a lot. Mm -hmm. Holding back, not to speak on that doesn't mean you have to go and slap somebody or be all dramatic. You know how some people be screaming and be too much. No, That's you're you're like human, me. and the person is a human. You can sit down and talk. Right, but what I if like I to want sit to talk down about? and talk. Wait a minute. Okay. I like to sit down and talk about issues, and you know, let's talk about it it can be seconds I don't need you to sit me down like oh I don't you don't need me to sit you down like one hour to talk about anything right. just few minutes if you can give me your ear and you like oh okay I hear you I'm fine I'm cool with that mm -hmm. instead of just ignoring the whole thing so That's I with think a relationship or friendship both both okay because if either you're my girlfriend my wife my whatever my 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 bestie, my friend, you know, whatever it is, it's communication is the key that brings people together because mm -hmm. if you're not communicating to me of what I'm doing or what you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, telling you that this is something that I don't really appreciate right. and you don't want to hear me. Mm -hmm. The person don't want to be in a relationship, especially when they don't want to hear you and they think you're nagging or something oh like God, that. Oh God, speak the it's, word this morning. It's, it's, it's it's irritating you know like Very much so. you, people don't it's like you it, they make you for less of yourself when they don't want to hear you listen to you you know and it's painful like that i think everybody should listen to somebody right especially if we're gonna be friends mm -hmm. if we have any type of relationship i think you need to hear me out it can be some foolish thing you know some people will be like i need to talk to you and then you sit down and there's nothing they want to say but it's petty things like really but that is what she, the person is that's how she's feeling about that petty thing you think it's petty but that's their big case right. so I everybody think, ain't gonna take it how you know yes take it, so. so i think it's very important to have ears to each other you know just tell me what it is oh what is it oh okay i hear you sorry if it's sorry give it to them if it's something you have to really make it up to them if it's right. time if it's anything you know just make it up if you that is if you want that relationship to last or to keep moving on because exactly. some people actually will do things just to get you out of their life okay, okay. they will know and they will just make you go so they will they will start ignoring you everything you say is annoying to them mm -hmm. it's like you know and then 
Some people today are too much. They complain too much. Yeah. Don't complain too much. Complaining is not going to solve your life problems. Yeah, you need to kind of take it a day at a time and yep. kind of just listen. Trust me, you're yeah. never learn no man. Yes, yes, listen. Yeah, you right. need to listen. That's all. Next question. I hope I'm getting the right answers because I don't know what you, what you think you're doing. Oh, God. Okay, this is kind of, this low key feel like the same. I'm going to read the question, but I feel like we already answered it because it's kind of basically nice. like. Nice. No. <laughs> no. Nice. We're just going to toss this one out because I feel like she answered that already. So let me pick a question for you. I need to pick. What makes you laugh? See, God just blessed me with a good question for her because she was just <laughs> screaming in her head, like, can we be done with this video? What make me laugh? Oh. What make me laugh? Mm -hmm. It could be anything. It could be food, like, oh, you know, kids making. I mean, I know. you know, my. TikTok. She, matter of fact, thing. let me tell y'all what make her laugh. I'll answer it. TikTok <laughs> videos. She yeah. sends them every night and every morning. I, I, yeah, I like to see people do, you know, stuff that make you laugh. But you know, what really make me laugh in my heart, you know, there's there's two laughs in this life where you got your teeth in you. It's laughing. Mm -hmm. okay, everybody know you're laughing. And then there's this peace, inner peace smile that comes in your heart. Mm -hmm. When you see certain things in your life that you laugh at, my kids, you know, when I think about my kids, no matter what the stress is, sometimes, you know, I just, I put this smile on my face and say, at least I have, I have four kids, I have my kids, I love my kids to death. And that gives me some inner peace each time I do that. So, you, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's a connection, you know. It's some type of connection that gives you that kind of smile to your heart. And I think the heart smile is something, is personal. So just we all laughing, right now I'm here giggling my teeth. That's laugh, it's okay, because we are doing something. But the inner laugh that gives you peace and she joy. She took it up a notch, the inner comes, laugh. It comes from your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. And then there are certain people where you hear their voice and you hear their, <laughs> their talking. So, you know, sometimes you're in a relationship, you know, and then your guy or your lady, you know, you see them calling you, you put a smile, they put a smile to your heart, you know. Some people are like oh, that. Oh, you calling? No, when it's they, they, <laughs> Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, he's calling, he's calling me. Some audience, some and then, you know, it gives some smile to you. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and. Is the connection? Can you translate that in tree? And of course, I know what stress it. Or do hey, or be or what? Or both? Don't come and answer. Only know what's a connection. You know, who needs a of rock? I know when you ain't. Ah, I know so. I know you are coming. Must stress you need a. I know that she. What's in the kind of when you ain't? Breezing through the tree like it's yeah. What's in the kind of when you ain't? You understand what I'm saying? So you guys know what I'm talking about, right? right. Okay. So we got two more questions. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna close your eyes and pick a one. I up. Uh oh, <laughs> I just. <laughs> Okay, this is the last Why are you doing question. that? Do you know what the next question is or something? Maybe, you don't know. What is the best piece of advice that has changed your view on life? Make this like a minute though. Not three, four. Hmm. Plan. You took over the segment. Plan, plan, plan for your life. Mm -hmm. Save, save, save. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Um, what I have learned is that you know, you would think you have to have money, lots of money to save. You have to have something going on to save. But this is my advice to you. Save whenever you have $10, save $2. It can be a dollar and you have a savings account where you just throw them in it, throw them in it, throw them in it. At this age that you are, it doesn't matter what age, if your parents or somebody open an account for you, Please save 
save, save. If you're 10, by the time you realize you're 21, you don't know how much you're gonna have. Save, 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 no, no, no. save, savings. Do that for you, for your kids. Do that saving thing. It's very, very important. I have realized that it's very, very important in life. Last and final question, Kelly. Let me, I'll answer this question myself. I, I'm not going to let her answer this one. I'm going to do it for my... She did a great job. Applause. <laughs> did well. You did well. So I'm going to just take this question for the team. I don't even know what it is, but... <laughs> what? What does forgiveness mean to you? Hmm. You want to answer it? You say you want to answer it. I guess I'm going to answer it. Um... Let me answer this question truthfully and honestly. It brings you peace. Hmm? It brings peace to you. Yeah, it does. You so forgiving somebody, somebody for, yeah. is for it's you. Healing. I think I've learned that now than I did before. Mm -hmm. I feel like I used to harbor a lot of like oh, unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. Not like where mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. I couldn't get over it, but there were certain things that I've dealt with that made me like really not forgive. And it was hard to like let things go but now that i'm at an age that i am i realize like forgiving is for you it's not for the person that you're forgiving really yep. it's for your own inner peace for your own mental stability your own mental mm -hmm. peace of mind so forgiveness to me just means that you're giving yourself that closure that you never got absolutely and when you do that for yourself you, you go ahead and i feel like that's one thing god not to bring him up but he's always gonna get brought up regardless I feel like that's what he worked on me with because I was not easily forgiving. I forgave, but I would say like, oh, I forgive you. But in my heart, you hold on I knew I wasn't fully forgiven. So this is just to anybody that knows me or been around me. If you've done me wrong, I forgive you. I have genuinely forgiven mostly, not mostly, let me say all. Because if I say mostly, that's like I'm not really truly in myself. But I've forgiven anybody who has talked bad about me, done me wrong, broke up with me, treated me like crap. I forgive all of you guys because honestly, it just made me stronger and made me realize that the inner love that I have for myself is greater than what you guys had made me feel at some point. So anybody who like bullied me in high school, all that is it's done for. Like Next, I'm moving on. I'm blessed. I'm fortunate. I'm a mama. Got my family. So all as well so we're just gonna go ahead and just end the video on this note learn how to forgive and love others the way you want to be loved and give yourself the love if somebody's not loving you today love yourself enough to know that you are enough and that you are worthy absolutely so you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video it got a little deep it got a little real but you know mama dukes came in and did what she had to do so if y'all want to see more of my mom, y'all go ahead and like up this video, get it up to 20,000 likes, 1,000 likes, 2,000 likes, 100, 5 likes, even 1 like. If you like it and you see my mom and you like her personality and you want me to put her back on my channel, <laughs> y'all let me know. So stay tuned for the next video. Peace out. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe like y'all always do. God bless y'all and we out of here. Thank you. You, oh, you're welcome. Aw, she was happy that I put her on the video. <laughs> okay, y'all, so see y'all later. And we out.